Hello, I'm Entrilism, and welcome back, of course, to Surviving Mars, where we are, well, attempting to survive Mars. Actually, right now, we're attempting to build a little bit of an area with our drones that people can then inhabit and then survive on Mars. We're, of course, playing with the Space Y uh, start, which means that we have autonomous drone hubs, which is pretty useful. They don't need power. And uh, our drones are going to currently build things and fill things full of metal. And actually, I think we've built all the things right now. So what we've got to do is start working on oxygen, water, food to an extent, but food you can only get when you get people. And, you know, rare metals is later on. So for now, oxygen, water. So. Ooh, maybe we should build more power. Hmm. More power might be useful. Right now, we're relying on these uh, solar power, and uh, they, they don't work when it's night. So we're relying on them to fill up the batteries. Probably a good idea if we get some wind turbines. And they cost concrete, so that's fine. If we put, like, one there. Oh, I meant to... How much do we have in terms of machine parts? Oh, we're fine. Rotate. Rotate. There we go. Get three of those. And then we want to get ourselves some life support. So we'll need a water extractor. Uh, extracts water from underground deposits. No production during cold waves. All extractors contaminate nearby buildings with dust. So nearby buildings do it covered in dust, which is not great. Uh, we could also get a moisture evaporator if we really wanted to. You need more prefabs for this building. Use a supply rocket or research the corresponding technology. Okay, so we don't actually have that. Right, we also have the Moxie, which we'll need to get oxygen. And that will be broken out of the air. And it doesn't produce it during dust storms. So, for a start, let's get this water going. I'll place it. Does it have a different... I think it just has water. I don't think it has a, a bigger or lesser production, so let's just put it over here. Nice and far away. And then we'll put a water tower next to it. Well, we can do the water tower later. Moxie. We want to do similar. Uh, so we'll get a Moxie right now. Put the Moxie here. And then... Power cable. There we go. Right, so that should give us water. That'll give us oxygen. We will need to store these and we'll also need to pipe them around because you need life support to write pipes. Transports water and oxygen. There we go. And then if we put a water tower attached. And if we put a moxie attached as well. Not a moxie, sorry, a oxygen tank. There we go. Alright, that should be enough to be getting on with. Go, my pretties, go! So they should be getting ourselves some water, they should be getting ourselves some oxygen, and those should be going to the tanks, which means that we should be in a good place, actually. Almost ready for people. Gonna have a lot of power production. I just don't want to run out of power, because that means everything grinds to halt, like no more water. So the tower. Oh yeah, we should build one of those. No more water, no more oxygen, like it's bad. Pretty bad. Let's get ourselves one of those sensor towers. There we go. Uh, and we will put it, sure, here. So the sensor tower will scan the surrounding terrain. Like, you know these things here that I've got selected? It'll actually scan those. Slowly, but it will. 
Must be connected to a water producer. Oh, you're not built yet. Fair enough. We'll just take us a little bit to get the concrete. Hello, little drone. How are you Sector feeling? Scanned. Oh, little drone. How much does it cost to get a recharge station? Yeah, we might as well get a recharge station up here. That way the drones don't have to go so far. We scanned this one. There's nothing there. Great. Good job, us. Need one more. And you're recharging. You're recharging. No one's using this one up here? Like, I made a recharging point just for you. I could increase its priority. Oh, there we go. But in theory, I think they should just use the closest one. So that should be fine. And there we go. Now we have water being collected. We've got oxygen here. Excellent. Right, we're in a position to start accepting colonists, I think. Food is produced by colonists. You can't have drones do that, sadly. So that's a, that's a colonist thing. So the tunnel entrance and exit can connect power and life support grids at different locations and differing elevations. I was going to travel along the tunnel to reach place. Always couldn't. Yeah, yeah. So that's a very expensive subsurface heater. Uh, we need the technology for that allows us to uh, prevent like water things from freezing. More drone hubs. We're going to go straight to a basic dome. Now, basic dome will take up 10 of our polymer. We've only got 11. And it takes a whole crap ton. A lot of concrete. And, you know, metal. So, we should probably actually build a second concrete thing for this. I think it's worth it. there. And then you'll need power. Uh, and I actually have to run the power cable around. There we go. Sector scanned. Anomaly oh. found. So we found an anomaly which can be scanned by an RC explorer. We don't have one. And we also found water. Okay. This is low grade water. That's low grade water. Okay. Also might put down a storage specifically just for concrete. Put it like... May block access to deposit. Well, it's only a me, so sure. And that way we've got space for like a lot of concrete. That's average gate grade concrete. Right. We need 80 concrete for the drum. Got 20. If we start building it now, it'll be ready by the time uh, we get around to it. Ooh, retmel extractor. It needs workers. Yeah, we can't use that yet. You know what? We'll do a fuel refinery, maybe. Oh, no, we don't have the... Uh, technology. Damn it. Okay. These are all the things you can put inside domes. For now, we're just going to get that dome going. And we're going to probably scan. place it... Oh, more water. Not a bad start. In terms of water, at least.
I'm thinking we place it like here. There. Now that will actually need hooking up. So we will need pipes. And then we'll need power. There we go. And then a lot of concrete. We've got 40, though. We're actually gaining concrete pretty fast now. Now, we could call in a passenger rocket. We could. And that would take time to get here. By that time, we might have the dome complete. But I don't want to risk it. Partly because we also got to build stuff inside the dome, too. So for now, we're just going to let them do their thing. We could actually put down uh, another drone hub and it would get things done faster because there'd be more drones moving all the stuff. Not really worth it right now. Hey, did you fill up with uh, metal? I think there's more metal you could get. There we go. Keep getting more metal. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have started an explorer instead of transport. Transport's not that useful. Sector scanned. All right. No resources here. Scan that one, scan that one, scan that one. Okay, you're full. So, come over here and unload there. Resupply. A cargo rocket can deliver extra supplies. Yeah. We're starting to run a bit low. Can you collect? No, you can't collect that. Let's let you recharge. Uh... Just go get some me more metal, I guess. How are we doing over here? Almost down concrete. Still need a lot of metal. I've got metal here. Come on. Grab the metal. Little drones, bring the metal over. Taking the time. Right, Eleven. Thirteen. Sector scanned. Ah, nothing there. Okay. Uh, we'll scan. That one next. Four more metal and we'll start making the dome. We're so close right now. Do you take all of that? Yeah, there's still more though. Go further afield. Grab more metal. That's not metal, that's just... Random. Uh, there's actually not much more metal around. We're going to need to start mining that metal. Grab that. Oh, here's a dome. <gasps> and we have a dome. Milestone achieved. Colonists need residential buildings to live inside the dome. Yeah, because they're lame. God, I'm colonists needing all these things. Uh, solar adaptation produces food. Large indome bone, which is no, which is more work. Okay, we'll do that next. Right. 
and sneezing. Not sneezing. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Sneezing. Oh god, right. So with that done, we're gonna research farms. Uh, hopefully we'll research that sooner rather than later. I think we'll need to put in living quarters. So there's some living quarters for our people. Uh, what else do we need? Research should be helpful, but it does take up a lot of our uh, circuit boards. Infirmary. Open a gym we do not have a polymer for. Diner we can do. Space bar. Ooh. That is relaxation, drinking, social. That is dining, social, food. Grocer does food and shopping. All right, well, we'll get ourselves a grocer, right? Get ourselves a space... Ooh, space bar's big. Sure. Space bar! Uh, electronic store? Shopping and gaming? Open a gym. Can't do that. Okay. Open like a garden. Relaxation, exercise, and playing. And then a statue, of course, to me. And then... Have we got something else that fits in, like, a, a three? I guess we could do, like, an infirmary if we really cared. Security station, uh, that's nine workers. I don't think I can really afford that. The six for infirmary is hard enough. Sure, we'll get that. And then I think we have to get another seven living quarters. Right, start building. Look at the little drones! Ah, oh, and they come in that one and then they go out that one. Oh. Sector scanned. And no more resources, okay. Cue that up. Look how all the dust around here is making things go like... View. And it's got dust on the cable as well. Are you getting things dusty? Because you said you would. Yeah, there's a little bit of dust on the on the pipe there. Building not working. Oh, grocer. Yeah, because there's no one around. Yeah, that's fine. Can I not make you go away? There we go. Okay, now I think we call that rocket we were talking about. So we want a passenger rocket. Uh, age group. We do not want seniors or children. Yeah, that's fine. Youth can still work, adult and middle age can still work. Okay. We're cool with that. Flaws. We do not want chronic conditions, idiots, whiners, or cowards. We don't mind alcoholics. That's great. To be fair, I think this is like... Yeah, right. So these are our people who are our applicants. And then the matching colonists is like, oh, there's 59. All right, okay. Um... We should not get hypochondriacs in the first wave, because the rocket capacity is 12, right? So let's just see if we can pick the very best 12. Yeah, there we go. 30. Plenty of space. Fifteen male, fifteen female. Okay. 
Uh, I don't really need specializations at the moment. What about perks? Workaholic survivor, sexy, composed genius celebrity. We've got a, ooh, a celebrity wants to come over. Saint, religious gamer, nerd. Rugged. Oh, rugged. Okay, not rugged. Fit, enthusiast, hippie, party animal. Okay, well, you know what? I'm happy with that. Let's launch that rocket. And I believe... There we go. The rocket appears at the bottom and it's saying, Oh, we're, we're working on the flight. Now, we will need to set up food here as well. Research complete. Transport optimization. Yay. It's probably not at all important. Okay, you've got 30, so we'll get you to drop your metal over here. Might actually be full of metal there, so we need to make another, um, what's it called? Transporty pad thing. The, the depot. Depot. We need another depot. Sector scanned. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to be done with that research in time. We're going to have to build our own food. So, hydroponic farm. Resources are low. We're on polymer. And then since there's like a gap in the middle, I guess we can just build a like a small garden. There we go. Yeah, I've got zero polymer. I think we used it to repair something because something needed polymer to repair. I can call an extra ship. Like we have, like we can get extra rockets sent over. We have the funding for it. So if we ask for a cargo rocket, We get an explorer sent over. I remember we get, because we're space Y, we get cheap polymers, machine parts, electronics and stuff, so. We can actually get these really, really cheap prefab buildings. Drone hub, moisture evaporator, fuel refinery, sterling generator. I mean, sterling generators are pretty great, but... I'm thinking when we get a fuel refinery. That way we can start sending the rockets back. We will need these eventually so that we can start making machine parts and electronics and polymers. Uh, so that makes polymers from water and fuel. That makes electronics from rare metals. And that makes machine parts from metal. And... What if I said I want one of each right now? Ah, right. The capacity, maybe? Yeah, look at that cargo capacity. Each of these is 10,000 kilograms. They're 10 tons each, which is understandable. They are buildings. Um, that's, that's fine. Okay. So if we get both of those, and then we maybe get... No. Let's get rid of... I think we'll need more polymer, probably. We'll get ourselves a drone to fill up that last bit of space. I think that's good to me. Launch it. Cable so this will be sending reported. over. Oh, hello. No, don't have cable faults. That's bad. Ah, right. You need polymer. Oh, dear. Yeah, we need polymer to make the hydroponic farm. So we actually need this rocket we've got sent over. Well, that's not good. It's because the other one, the actual farm that we're researching, only needs concrete. And I was thinking, oh, we don't need anything fancy to make food. The starting one you need polymer for. The farm that we're researching here, we only need... There we go. Eight concrete. So, we're going to have to live off the 12 food you supply. Because when a cargo, uh, not cargo, a passenger ship comes over, they bring with them 12 food. 
power shortage. Oh. Oh, you've broken. I need polymer. Have you got, like, dust on you and need the dust clearing off? It's decreased by dust accumulation. Why are we getting a power shortage? Power shortage is not good. Yeah, there we go. Current deterioration. Yeah. Right, I'm going to request maintenance on all of these because they only cost a bit of metal. We've got loads of metal. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a bit more power. So, I'm thinking... Maybe set up like another power thing over here or something. See with that, or we go wind turbines because wind turbines are, you know, not going to have the same issue. But they do need machine parts to be able to keep them running, and they need one on creation. So I'm actually just going to say probably a large cell panel for now. Now, where do I want to place this? Not too near that, actually. Yeah, maybe here. Actually, if we... Build like this. And then... Power cable. That should connect all of them. Now, passengers aboard will die if the rocket doesn't land in 114 hours. We can leave the rocket in orbit. Hopefully it'll be long enough to be able to get down our Phoenix 2, which of course has all the stuff we need. We Enjoy have being a power orbit. shortage. Don't worry about power. Well, you don't have power because it's night time. And all our things are broken. Right, come on. Resources are low. We love metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Actually, we've got plenty of metal. Oh, 12. Nah, it's not actually plenty. Okay. Well, we're going to need to send you out to get some more metal then. Right, you're charging up. Slowly. Okay. What range do you have? Yeah, I've got to pull you down inside the range of that. Okay. Right, call it in. Let's get a lovely view of this. Ah! I want to see this come in nice and slow. Lovely. Right. Ah! Oh, right. That's because I'm angled weirdly. Ah, now I've broken the angle. I don't like breaking the angle. Alright, just get it perfectly back where it was. Okay, Explorer. Go research the Explorer thing. Mm. 
They're still absorbing metal. There's our one drone. We've got all the resources we need up there. Okay. Go get me the resources. Because our people are going to die if we don't, you know, so that's the thing. And please repair that. Right, these power accumulators actually should be, like, top priority to repair. Only seven hours. Yes, repairing. No active research. Good research job. Research complete. Anomaly oh. analyzed. Can I stop Milestone building these? Achieved. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, we just got it now. Okay, right. Well, we've just got our, uh, our other food, which is the farm. I guess we'll leave that space there for now. <laughs> Anomaly analyzed. We gained research. Okay, that's why we shot ahead in the research poll. Sector scanned. Nothing there. Okay. Let's look at this one. Our power is going down really fast during the night. How long do we have left? 90 hours. I want to make sure that we actually get like a day of like full on charging of these because I think we really need it. In fact, I think we need it so much. I'm going to make some more solar panels. And then I'm going to make a power accumulator. In fact, I might make a couple. You know what? We might actually build that extra drone hub because it's taking too long. And I'll probably want to build it over here or something so that it does overlap, but only just. I'll make you a high priority. How long do we have? 84 hours. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, the drone hub doesn't actually come with drones. Sorry, I forgot that. Drone hub actually just controls drones. It doesn't actually come with them. Yeah, we just actually need to just get more drones. That's what we need. Ooh, anomaly analyzed. There's New text available. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Even the tiniest, simply looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe, to encourage an encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future. We get low G turbines and systematic training revealed. So those aren't like main technologies, I think. No, they are. Sorry, they are main technologies that get revealed. So we get... Logi turbines, polymer blade, upgrade. Power production increased by 33%. And we get systematic training. Scientists botanists have plus 10 performance when working on their specialty. Uh, generate extra research per sol for each RC Explorer vehicle. You know, I'll have that. That'll pay itself off in like 10 days. And how are we doing with the food? Yeah, you're kind of built. And we can change the crop. Soil quality is 50%. If we go soybeans, it increases soil quality. So we'll go soybeans. And then for you... Growth time, four soils. One soil for wheatgrass. But it needs double the water. Oh, 
We can survive for four souls. Oh, right. Actually, you just need double the water compared to microgreens. Low yield and slow growth, but requires less water. It takes four souls. Good yield, but slow growth. Ten, but requires four souls. That seems better to me. Microgreens than going for leaf crops and wheat grass. Only needs a day, but it gives two food. I'm going to say microgreens to save on the water, because we're actually going to start pushing our water supply. And if you select other crops, it rotates the crops around, I think. For different shifts or something. Yeah. Leave it as it is for the moment. And we'll make sure that this is high priority, because we need people working on that. With that... I think we call in the people. Full of hope and determination, the first founders have set foot on the Red Planet. The next ten souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also of great promises and opportunities. It is now for us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and the future of the human civilization. Even the most epic adventures start with a single step. Okay, effect, blah, 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 blah. We've got to wait ten souls before anyone else can arrive. Hint, the colony be evaluated positively before the period ends if the first human is born on Mars. And if you feel you're up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of founders as much as possible. Try and get them to breed. Milestone achieved. Do they breed in ten souls? I, I kind of thought it was nine months. Have arrived. But maybe I'm just, you know, old-fashioned. There we go. They are running fast. There we go. Hello. Welcome. Please tell me people are working here. Yeah, people are working here. Sweet. And food is... Well, it is being produced, it just doesn't say. Okay, now the test is really going to be during this night cycle. Are we going to have enough power? We'll find out. Yeah, 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 you want me to build a research lab? Yeah, you know what? We might build a research lab because it actually fits. There. Power shorted 25. Oh god, that's going to drain the power so quickly. Mistakes were made. How close are we on that one? Miles off? Okay. Uh, you're doing that. You you might as well come back and charge up. I hope no one gets like run over by these we drones. Power. Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. That's troubling. Yep, because we're out of power, our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. That's not great. Cable fault reported. Cable fault as well, really? Okay, now we have power again. Our power surplus is 0.2. That's why we're not charging anything. God damn it. Okay, we really need to improve that. Let's get some wind turbines going, because they'll work during the night as well. Uh, right there. And then if we go power, power cable. Oh, well, we've got you a five. I think it's because you were charging. Where are you, transport rover? That's not metal. Okay, might as well unload the metal you've got. Oh, 
Okay. So far, so good, though. People are kind of okay. Food's kind of okay. Food is going down. It says food consumption zero, food production zero. I'm pretty sure it's lying to me. Oh, it's because we probably haven't produced our Sector first batch scanned. yet, right? Yeah. I'm going to rate that high so people get employed here as well. Yeah, no resources there. Okay. Now, we also have... No, not a polymer factory. I don't actually want the polymer factory because that needs people to work in it. I don't have people. I want a fuel refinery because that will be useful because we'll be able to turn all of our stuff over here into fuel and send the rocket back. We've got power surplus at night. I may have gone a little bit overboard with these. Remember that each of these will take um, machine parts to keep running and maintenance. So that's that's worrying. Oh, hello. Bick you, a trained scientist eager to discover the mysteries of... Why are you on my hot bar? Oh, you're a celebrity. Maybe that's why. Oh, okay. Right. I, fine, whatever. Uh, so far, so good. Wa we have a water shortage. Now, bear in mind, we do have some water here, right? We've got a lot of stored water, but we're actually using more water. It's because of the farming. So we're going to need to set up another water extractor. Which I'm totally cool with. There we go. No cable connection. That's solved quite easily. How much funding do we got? 2.2? .2. Yeah, I kind of want to get more drones, but I don't need them. It's just kind of makes things faster. Definitely more people. Are low. Food resources down to five. How long until you're ready? A little while. Mm. Okay, right. What if I was to ask for a cargo rocket and I wanted to have food? Like ten food. And... While we're at it, we'll ask for these because they're quite cheap. Then another prefab building. Uh, we'd want maybe a machine part one. Electronics, so we'd have all of that. And then drones, yeah. That would be it, though. Maybe we just get four more drones, and then... Launch it. Still of funding. But I think we need to call it in now in case we actually do run out of food. I don't know how quick it's going to get here, but I guess we'll find out. It's at 10%. Food's at 5. The chance we might not die. Power supply is insane. I may have gone overboard. Uh, water is 
zero surplus. I think that's because it's just max stored. Yeah, it's max stored, so it doesn't increase anymore. Uh, right. Food consumption is two. Okay, so the fuel refinery is producing fuel. And Cable fault you're a fueled three, five, zero, right? So yeah, they are refueling these rockets slowly. Okay, where is this cable fault? There, that's why we're having power issues because of that cable fault. Come on, fix it. Good little drone. <laughs> Come on. It takes a while to fix that, apparently. Right. Our next rocket is at 61%. It's still faulty. I guess you have to go charge up. Fine. Are you actually connected? Oh, apparently so. That cable actually doesn't seem to have connected. Alright, we're on four food. You're at 81%. It looks like we probably would have maybe got by. Okay. 94. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. 100. Come on. There we go. Bring it in. Ooh, anomaly. Sweet. Send the explorer. Go check the anomaly out. There could be something interesting there. Drones! Go, my pretties. Go! And you know, we've got loads of food now, so. I won't select an extra crop there, because we just don't have the people. We don't work extra shifts right now. Not having any people sucks. Power supply is surplus 2.8 at night time, which is good, but not quite as insane as it once was. Probably should have had, like, more fuel refineries sent over. Anomaly analyzed. Ooh. There's more, there's barren environs of red parrot that meets the eye, a veritable treasure of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So you know where to look. Low G fungi and Mars crowdfunding, okay. Still working on this one. It's because no one's working in the uh, research lab, which is fine. I need people making food and stuff. Five of 14, seven of 14. So we're working at less than half capacity on the actual um, residential buildings. Six more days. Ah, what am I meant to do for six more days? I will, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, watch the food count out. Because we're probably going to get our first crop in soon. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's an optimal harvest. It's eight. Actually, so that won't, it won't always be eight. That would be if we got an optimal harvest. Okay. Building a new home on an alien world that takes guts, to say the least. Uh, after all, purpose is the longest long-term driver. Since arrival on Mars, Clayton Warren's enthusiasm has proven to be above average. The founder, Clayton Warren, gets the enthusiast trait. That's the spirit? Okay. Milestone achieved. Yay, we produced food! We now have 18 food. 
Oh god, wow, that's... 20. Sector scanned. Optimal harvest is 34, though, so... We need to get the uh, food so for uh, the soil quality up, which soybeans do. They increase the soil quality by 10%. Ooh. Hello. Transport. Come over here and start grabbing some metal. We'll research some more of the sectors. The worry is that if I forget and then you run out of charge, you're just never coming back. There's no way we can actually get you back. Outside of our drone range is just, uh, it's just death right now. However, I think we're in a good place and this is probably the right time to leave this uh, episode. So 10 power, 20, uh, fuel 23 fuel. Next time we'll probably be able to send one of you back and hopefully we will have uh, the founder stage complete next time. Which means that uh, we'll be able to call in another rocket. That's it though. We only get five rockets any one time because space why I only have five rockets. If we check, you'll see that we have one rocket available. So we'll call in passengers of that. Hopefully we can send these back and then get more passengers sent over. Because we need people, really. That's that's our um, drawback at the moment. Is we need people to be able to mine metals. We need people to be able to mine deep, rare metals. And then machine parts, electronics, and polymers. We all need people to actually make them in the factories. We have the factories waiting. They're in storage. But we need people to be able to man those. So for now, I've been Edward Sim. Like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think so far. Especially since it is like episode 2 of a new game. Always good to get that feedback and stay shiny.